I'm ready to get this Thanksgiving fucking party started. All right, guys, you know them, you love them. Please welcome the stage the one and the only Shane Gillis and Matt McCusker, everybody. <laughs> What up? What the fuck is up? I already see some haters out there. I see some doubters. I see, so many I see some fucking doubters oh, out there. Haters. Oh my god. What up? How about white people? Just, just the best. What a great race. Uh, <laughs> no, the last time we did this show, I, I opened with, I was like, yo, white people! <laughs> And it was double the size of this, at least. And uh, it, was, it got an uproar, and then the next day it was Charlottesville. Yeah. And I just laid hungover on the couch with anxiety, like, oh my God, I'm one of these guys. He might have been here. You he might have charged him up. I might have uh, dodge charged him up. All right. <laughs> hey, you guys get him? Come on. Hi, I, yeah. uh... We wrote that. That took us five days. <laughs> I was like, what's funny about... <laughs> White terrorism. <laughs> huh? Hey, all right. I, I, see, I see some of those frown turn upside down, man. I see people loving this now. It's all it took with some white nationalism. You guys are all fucking happy. That's good. That's right. Well, we do have it's a up. downtrodden audience. Why? Well, they're just like, they're poor, shitty people. Like, I feel no, like... No. I feel like that guy is powerful. Hitler. Looks, that guy looks like Bill Gates, dude. He's rich as fuck, man. Oh, well, that's, that's, he has no idea who we are. That's a leftover from... That the, guy's got leather on. He's fucking loaded. That's, again, these, everybody you see is a leftover from the Dom Herrera comedy show. Not everyone. Just like the, the core middle. I know that table right there. It's my brother and my cousin and his girlfriend. So. It's your hot-ass brother, Billy. Yep, check Yo, him out. shout out, Billy. What Damn. up? Damn. He's like the saber tooth, my Wolverine. He's got that sick beard. <laughs> Bigger than me. <laughs> that's actually. That's actually. Uh, he's actually not wrong with that analogy. That's no. actually a pretty good. But very saber tooth esque. Very dark. <laughs> Still kind of cool, even though he's a bad guy. Yep. Hey, how are you guys? <laughs> Shit. Just hoping more people would be here. I'm actually pretty happy with who came out. Really? Yeah, man. This is a crowd. That's good. <laughs> Love it. Whoa. Sabretooth did not clap. It's all right. Classic tooth. I'm on, a, uh, I'm on a hot streak right now. I'm on a hot no-fap streak. Oh! Yep. Does anyone here do no-fap? I'm, I'm the only one who holds in my cum? All right, Billy, that's fine. Billy, you ever no-fap? Billy's no fap Of course, another... Billy claims he did 90 days. Don't believe it. I still release. I, my whole new thing now... <laughs> My thing now is I don't, I don't like watching porn when I'm in a relationship. I think it ruins relationships. I hold all my cum in for my girlfriend, and if she doesn't have sex with me, I treat her very badly. That's, that's my new thing now. I guilt her. How'd you guys feel about that Don Herrera? <laughs> <laughs> he stayed for the, just a fucking uh, truther talking about cum. No, that's, I'm telling you, man. <laughs> that, it's, helped me, it's helped me so much in my relationship, because it's like... Like, she's the gatekeeper to me coming. So I'm just so much nicer to her. No, we, we, we talked about this. Yeah, man. It, like, it's, I, it was, I was just home, and uh, I'm always very nice and loving. And then once, once I uh, ejac, I'm just like... Once you crumb. Once I crumb, I crumb all over her. And then I'm just like, get the fuck away from me. I'm trying to... You know how it is when you crumb on your lady, and you're like, stop, stop hanging out with me. I already crumbed. What are you around me for? You know what I'm talking about. No, I, I, uh, I'm the opposite. I like to snuggle after I crumb. Beforehand, I'm kind of irritable and crabby. So you're crabby, and then you crumb. And yeah. <laughs> and then you become. If I don't crumb, if I don't, if I don't crumb for four days, I'm a crab. A total fucking crab. Are you? Oh my god. I've noticed you have been. Cra- when's the last time you crumb? Uh, this morning, five thirty in the shower. Damn, dude. 
<laughs> he keeps hitting these. I, dude. He's been, every time I've talked to him and asked him when's the last time you fucking crumb, he's like, hit it in the shower at 5.30 in the morning. What a fucking crazy relationship. That's fucking if I, First off, if I'm in the shower at 5.30, that's a miserable experience. <laughs> and there's zero chance someone's going to be like, do you need to crumb? I'll be like, yes, babe. I'm, you ever, I, I'm basically like Crixus from Spartacus. I just wait in my chambers, and then my Dominus is like, I will release you now. Come to the showers. And I'm like, my lady. <laughs> just wait my turn. Man. This is a fucking it's bad. I'm telling you, man. It's not, it's not good. Like, if you're just, like, watching porn and coming all the time, I'm, you're just, like, you don't put up with your girlfriend's shit like you should. Yeah. How, how many people here are watching porn and coming all the time? Everyone, dude. You fucking get me? Everyone. I think, I think just because you were addicted to porn, you just assume. Like I, I don't do that. You jerk off every day. Uh, it's a fucking nightly. It's, I don't. Invest, <laughs> yeah, right. I'm not invested. I know when you jerk off. I'm you not jerk just, off every night. I'm not. Yeah, it's nice. Maybe. No, I didn't. Every other. Sometimes you Sometimes save up. Every other. That's but you porn. save up just no, to I don't spice save, it up. I've, I've never <laughs> cognizantly been like, oh, I'm gonna save my crumb. It's always just like, I don't feel like, I didn't even think about it, I just went to sleep. Well, that's why I'm fucking pumping them out at 5.30 in the morning. Dude. <laughs> that's what I mean. You got, it's all standing sex, too. It's thigh burning sex. All standing sex? sex? Uh, standing dude, it's a shower. shower sex. It's actually not that good. What a miserable... But, but when you got five days in you, it's good stuff. All right, you guys hit a wall. That's fine. <laughs> Seriously, Jeez. hold in your cum. Ch- you know what? Shower sex is the worst sex. Well... Because the water takes away all your crumb. What and do you it mean? Takes away the ladies. You it takes away the ladies' crumb. We're not crumb, and we're now not, you're just flesh on flesh. We're not like in between. Brush, we're not in between fire. the jet stream of water, dude. We're fucking my, water. my 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 stout butt's blocking the water from her genitals. Oh, so you take the water? I take the water you on my back. The water. I, always, I take the water on my I back. Duck my girlfriend's head. <laughs> like it's Guantanamo Bay. I I'm like, where the fuck did you put the pop tarts, you dumb bitch? <laughs> And I waterboard her until she admits that I love s'more pop tarts, and she knows that I like s'mores. That's hot. <laughs> Just pinch your nose a little. <laughs> my sister and all your Arabs. Yeah, my dude. sister brought like ten Arabs. Seriously? Enough to cause a fucking nine twelve. <laughs> <laughs> There's enough here to hijack a couple planes. My sister married an Egyptian, which is... What? It's That's like, good. It's all right. It's, <laughs> what's, it's probably second, second best. Second <laughs> point on the ah, Break no, down the list. Pretty, I go, white guy. I wish she would have done that. <laughs> just, a, just find a good white guy that's into nugget porn. <laughs> And then, I don't know, that's tough. That's a toss-up after that. What? You got fucking Mexicans? No. What? I don't want some lad planting his seed in my... <laughs> hey, so... <laughs> What's wrong with his Samia, dude? I do not... No, no, lads would have been good if he was a traditional lad. I don't want some... You know, like a new age cool lad I with a spike? I do not want a cool lad. I, my girlfriend... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've... I'll take a lad. You would, you would handle that? You'd be all right with a lad? Fucking, yeah, I love the lads, bro. Marrying your sister. Yes. I don't care who's married. My sister can I'm marry... Ranking, yeah, obviously I don't care that much, but I'm giving well, it... Well, it's eating you. I'm ranking it. <laughs> you are. You're being honest. You're ranking it. The Arabs are... He's a Christian Arab. That's points. <laughs> that fucking doubles his fucking... That's way better. If she married a fucking... If she married a Muslim Arab, I'd be like, Oh my God. That sucks. I should marry a fucking Muslim. <laughs> Are we all going to pretend like you'd be fine with Muslims entering your family? Is that what we're going to do in this room? This room of people. Every one of you would be like, I would, with open arms, so it all welcome all... a Muslim from Egypt. Not like a Wait, fucking... what's wrong with Egypt? That's a good place. No, it's not. At the pyramids, bro. At the pyramids. It was a while back. A while back, <laughs> dude. Steadily regressed. That's got that's got the uh, the giant like lion head thing. Well, black guys built the pyramids and then left, and now it's just Arabs. Yeah, obviously. You know how black guys built everything great in Egypt? I knew this would happen. <laughs> I'm talking about nugget porn and not coming, dude. And now here we are. Look, I'm sick of black people. <laughs> no, uh, 
No, but Arabs are probably... Chris is your warm-up for Thanksgiving. You're in the Thanksgiving bullpen right now. Thanksgiving. You're dead, you dumb fucking faggot. All right. I'll fucking arm wrestle you now. Oh, my God. Pussy. Holy shit. Oh, my God. Arabs are Christian Arabs. Good stuff. Second place. It's good stuff. Huh? Bro, yeah. you fucking lost your credibility yeah. way early, You're the dude. nugget <laughs> porn guy. Like a nugget <laughs> porn man. But, yeah. <laughs> Who put Hey Arnold on the thing? Who just derailed this fucking Where thing? is Hey Arnold? Oh, he's saying this this behind us. Oh, all right. Well, fuck yeah. it, dude. I'm, let me go back to my hate speech. Go back. <laughs> That's the difference between me and Hitler. Hitler would have never been derailed by this. <laughs> Everybody talks about how good Hitler is. <laughs> You ever think Hitler was mid-speech, just like, Oh, dann weinen Sie, du wohnen euch dann von Eistern! And then some guy, some guy was like, it's actually Hey Arnold. And he was just like... It's like, Eh, what? Was ist ein Arnold? You would hide that German accent from me, bro? Yeah. Yeah, dude. Had a good Deutschland in me. Oh, I had a couple of years. Fucking... It's, it's all coming out, dude. It's all coming out. It's all coming out. It's all coming out. It's all coming out. Anyway. Anyway, back to Arabs. I don't know, man. My... We got a bunch of good Arabs here. My first... My first How about bet... that for progressive? That's good. I don't... Huh? Hell yeah. When's the last time Helium had fucking ten Arabs here? Ah, oh, this club's racist, bro. That's pretty good. This club's so Arabs good. usually don't like jokes. I don't know if you know what they did in France. Ooh, you know. And what you guys do about it, Come you cowards. Come drew cartoons and you white pussies sat back. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Five what, dude? Are you like Steve Carell's grandfather, dude? Who the fuck are you? <laughs> this guy had a couple cold ones. He had a couple of fucking... Couple of yeah, you got a couple of sighties in you. All right. Damn, bro. Uh, We're going to fight a couple of 50-year-olds after this. That'll be good. <laughs> yeah, that actually would be a sick fucking podcast. <laughs> Episode 56, dude. Oh, yeah. It was out. It was not cool. It was not a cool podcast. Oh, man. Well, was it? We just cut right where. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, we were like, about "Oh, this will be sick if we fight these old guys." Yeah, we did. We fought them. We fought them for the next forty minutes. We did. We beat and, them. Uh, we destroyed them, but it wasn't funny. Yeah, the some parts were funny. Oh, well, it was so much so that we got like a yeah. weird. One of the drunk old guys contacted the Helium Comedy Club and wrote a long-winded... He, like, my cousin Vinny'd us. Yeah, he tried to use his fucking <laughs> law degree against us. He really us. did. He put, like, patents and trademarks and shit on yeah, certain but he things. Yeah, it was the night of, of the show. He was hammered. That, that whole f- thing was all run on senses. Oh, yeah, that's true. It was garbage. I wonder if it was a Facebook message because it, it did was say a Facebook I give message. he I give yeah, yeah, yeah. Facebook permission to share this. It's like, dude, Facebook and shit. Yeah, it was a Facebook message. Uh, uh, but, um... Can so you imagine that, being 50, getting your ass handed? Like, he heckled, and we just basically made fun of him. Just said, you know, like, we'd kick his ass and made fun of him for being losers. And he got so upset that he wrote a Facebook message to the club. No, I can't imagine. If I was 50, and if, if I was getting my ass handed to me, I'd eventually be like, fuck you guys, and just leave. Or yeah. I, I wouldn't even think twice. Well, we what got him was the Penn State thing. Yeah, that's true. So, I don't know if we included it in there, but at one point, a guy, these these old guys in the front, one of them was like... Notre Dame got killed by Miami, and I was play like I was like, oh yeah, they got fucking crushed. I Having was like, fun, yeah. I was like, you must be a Penn State fan if you're bringing that up. And they didn't say anything at first, and they were quiet. And then uh, eventually, we got the one guy to crack and be like, oh, it's my alma mater. I am a Penn State, and it's like I knew you were a fucking. That Penn was State the beginning fan. of the end. We, that was like five minutes. You called that, and then we went talking, talking, talking. Five minutes later, he admitted it, and I was like. Oh, oh, boy. Yeah. And I then, was so happy. And then we got, we tried to, well, I tried to, <laughs> I don't want to fucking make you a bad yeah, guy. Yeah. I was, I tried to make him denounce Joe Paterno. That's, that's and not like, being a bad guy. And like every Penn State fan refused to do it. He wouldn't do and it. And deflected. He was like, what about Catholics? You like Notre Dame, right? Yeah. And I was like, well, fuck Catholics. 
instantly. Fuck Pope Benedict, dude. I can fucking do that. Wait, I, I think what got him on the defensive quick is as soon as he admitted to liking Penn State, I called him a toucher. Yeah, that was. I, uh, that's that was part of what he was trying I to like fake that. sue us. That was what yeah, he was trying yeah, to fake yeah. sue us. And he wrote that in his. Yeah, I was like, "You're a fucking toucher, dude. You're a fucking toucher." Yeah, I, I had to go back <laughs> when I listened to it. I was like, "Oh shit, we did call him a toucher." So I was like, "I don't remember calling him a fucking toucher." <laughs> I called him instantly. I was like, "You're a fucking toucher, dude." Yeah, dude. Well, the rest of the podcast was a. Uh, was a mess. Well, it was just funny because you were like, dude, just all you got to do is just say, like, look, man, I love Penn State. Just denounce Joe Pa. Yeah. Just say it was a good idea for them to remove and him. And then what he, he couldn't do did it. Did you hear him say, uh, at the, finally, after like, so we asked him and he was mm-hmm. like, Notre Dame. How about Notre Dame? You're yep. Catholic. What about all that? And I was like, fuck it, dude. I was like, fuck Pope Benedict. I was like, I'll support Francis. <laughs> Francis is the man. But uh, I was like, you can do that with Joe Pa. He you thought say, he had you cornered, dude. And be like, Franklin's the man. He couldn't do it. And then... Uh, it's probably got him out of so much shit at work. We're like, oh, about Penn State? He's like, you're a fucking Catholic. And the guy was like, oh, fuck. And like, yeah. walked away. But then uh, we asked him one more time to denounce him. And he was like, prove it. Yep. That was when we were like, holy fuck. This guy is unreachable. <sighs> he screamed, prove it. The about bet, the Sandusky thing. At one point, too. He even went... It was like, we're like, prove it. I remember he goes, it is what it is. And oh, it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Nah, dude. It's fucking child rape. <laughs> yeah. And then you were like... What would it have to? What would have to happen at Penn State for you to not be a fan? And I was like, child rape. Exactly. Like, yeah, like I was like, a, if this guy can handle that, yeah, literally, they could behead. They could yeah. do like an ISIS beheading and be like, well, it's just, like it doesn't affect the players. Those are still good. What's kids. it got to do with the team? <laughs> yeah. dude, that's so. It was. Uh, it was that's a drunken mess. Though. If you love something, like if you're like, I'm gonna bring my son there. I'm his one. Mm. He's gonna bring his son there. And that, that the news must have came out, and that guy was just like. No, when the news came out, he was one of the people rioting. When they fired Joe Paterno, people oh, he rioted. dude, he was fucking. He must have been furious. If he, if that's how he handled himself in a room full of people, being like Joe, dude, no, yeah. The day it came out, he must have been fucking all going nuts. caps on Facebook. He must have been going nuts. I'd love to get access to his Facebook. I know. I, wish like we, I, didn't, I didn't get to see his name. I didn't see it on Helium's, but. uh Yeah, that uh, our guest Tommy didn't didn't make the cut on this. He yeah, a, he was a little banged up. <laughs> he a was funny. Drunk. He was funny, but the he show was, ended up just being more hostile. Than... He was fun. He came out right away to those guys too, and he's like, "What do you? Uh, yeah, what do you do for a living?" And he was like, Ring. "The guy said yeah. something like I forget what he said, but he got it was made fun of." These old men, literally, it was basically imagine if your dads were there, and we sat there and told them that our dads were going to beat their fucking ass. They were pussies. You called the one guy a pencil neck bitch, yeah, and told him that your dad would do fucking wrestling moves on him and have fun yeah. with him. <laughs> it was like, yeah, it was ugly. These dudes and, were, and they even tried to back out even more, and they were like, well, "Where are your dads now?" And they're like, "Not here, you fucking losers. They're at home. Yeah. They're tired." And they're, these guys just every turn they try to take, they just got hit by another fucking truck, and it was just like. And the crowd was with oh, us. The, the crowd, crowd was the fucking... crowd started to get violent towards yep. the guys. That was another yeah. problem. People, allegedly, allegedly, someone I know went up to him and grabbed his shoulder and told him he was going to beat his fucking ass. <laughs> yeah, our, our fucking the shatheads got <laughs> rowdy quick, dude. Yeah, they, it, it was the general consensus that they were being dickheads. Well, they were being dickheads. But every time we made fun of them, the crowd was just lo- they were laughing. So yeah. That was the good. That was like the one good thing that like carried the whole thing. Here's the thing that sucks: is we got we got to take it out. And I'm okay with it because yeah. at that point, by the, the second half of that thing, I was already running hot. Mm-hmm. I was doing the Hitler. I was getting a little yeah, yeah. racist. Sorry, yeah. uh, people who think I'm racist. And, uh, <laughs> well, you came out and said white people are the best race. Well, that's because I was people. making fun of what I did last time. I know. And then Charlottesville happened, and I was like, oh, yeah. fuck. I know. Uh, I mean, the Dodge Charger line was fucking. That was great. That, that was, was fun. Yeah, Although was... I think it was a challenger. Challenger, challenger. No, yeah. we said charger, but whatever. Yeah. Um, but then the next morning on this one, uh-huh. still wake up with crushing anxiety because the Why? show was a mess. Well, the fucking day, the worst part of the whole thing was that the, so the two guys eventually leave. The two guys were there together getting made fun of Penn State. And this other old man who we assumed was with the other two old men had cre- – I didn't see him. He crept up from the back. Yeah. This guy sat down and we started – you know, he starts talking shit. So we start making fun of him. And at one point, we actually were like, yo, your boys left you, talking about the two old guys next to him. Yeah. And he was like, my boy died in the war. And dude, it just like... <laughs> so so the two old guys behind oh. him, who we thought were with him, left. And then one of us yelled, like, you're fucking, even your boys abandoned you. Because he was talking shit. Yeah, yeah. He just walked up from the back and just started talking shit. Yeah. 
He was like, you show more respect of your fathers or like something <laughs> like that. He did say that. Is that and, how you talk uh, to your fathers? Yeah, yeah. Like, no, because like, our fathers are fucking pussies. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then it was like, oh, you're fucking, your boys abandoned you, dude. Everyone hates you. And he was like, my boy, my boy died in war. What have you got to say about that? Yeah, and I was like, we're not talking about your son, you fucking idiot. That might have been the weirdest situation yeah, I've ever had crazy. to handle verbally. That was crazy. Yeah. You're having a good, everyone's having fun. Some guy just, again, the, the, there's like, did it even happen? Is it true? It's like, I don't know. It, yeah, I, I don't know. Who the fuck says know, my son know died in war? I don't know what's more disturbing. If it didn't happen and he made that up to like throw off the show, which actually that would be actually. That would be a pretty great move. Kind of funny, but. If that did happen, if I died in war and my dad was at a comedy show being like, my boy died in war, I'd be like, fuck, yeah, man. Especially if we weren't even talking about his fucking kid. If we were like, yeah, hey, your son's probably known. a fucking pussy. Uh, and he was like, my kid is dead. He died in Iraq. That'd be different than, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. than us just talking and him being like, well, my son died in war. Well, what do us, you think? Us being like, the two guys are like walking out the door. I'm like, oh, your boys are leaving you. And he's like, my son died in war. It's like, dude, you were, <laughs> you were just waiting to yeah. throw this up here. I was like, what the fuck, dude? Yeah. So yeah, yeah never I, apologize. I apologize. I apologize too much. I never apologize. I had a comic. Oh, I didn't even talk about this. What? Did I tell you a fucking comic tried to fight me after? You told me about that. Yeah. Someone tried to punch you in the face. He to, he, I think he might have. He was Why? like, he was very small. So he like started attacking me and yeah. I thought he was kidding. And then I felt him like. I wonder what fueled his attack. I could feel him start to get sturdy. And then I was like, oh shit, he's serious. Oh my God. What do you think fueled him? Um, I told him he sucked at comedy. And that was full. That on. was all it took. He was he was saying something about my pink dick. He was making fun of like something along the lines of not being able to fully satisfy my woman. Mm. Some some sort of like dig like that about like I have a tiny white pink dick. Yeah. And I was like, dude, you fucking suck at comedy. What, don't talk to me. Where was like the that. whole genesis of this whole thing? I don't know. He was hammered. We were both hammered, but yeah, he was really. I mean, he was hammered enough to try to fight me. And you have you guys talked? I called him that night, making fun of him. You haven't made up since, though. Yeah, we were fine. Oh, you guys are fine. Yeah, now. totally. But no rematch. I mean, that would be a rough rematch for him. <laughs> if someone and Be- Beezer said this after, it was funny. He's like, dude, if somebody's commenting, doing commentary on the fight while you're fighting them, it's not a good sign. <laughs> like he was trying to hit me, and I was like, oh shit, is he trying to hit me? Oh <laughs> god, that's it was it was crazy. I might do an investigative uh, journalism, dude, and get to the source. Of, I'm going to find out what happened, dude. Of the fight? I'm going invest- to I'm telling you exactly everyone. what happened. I think, oh, here's what happened. I leaned, like, he's a lot smaller than me, yeah. too. Like a fucking, close to a foot yeah. shorter. And yeah, definitely yeah. like 150 pounds short, like small, like 100 pounds. Yeah, he's, yeah. Like this was, violence was he's never, a small dude, should yeah. never have been on the agenda. Unless, yeah, I mean, a ring and a, like a or a sling and a rock, he might have shit. Yeah, that's what he needed. <laughs> but I, I, I think he was, he and I had been talking shit back and forth, but like friendly. Mm-hmm. As you do. Yeah. And then I took it too far by saying he would never be good at stand up and he sucked. That's when he said you have a pink dick. And no, he said that first. Oh, okay. But that was, I mean, I don't get offended yeah. enough to fight ever on yeah. shit like that. If of someone's course. trying to bother me with words, I'm like, You're not going to fight him, yeah. I'll say something like, You're horrible at stand up and you should quit. Yeah. Because I know that would hurt a yeah. lot. <laughs> that does hurt. That would hurt. And then he bucked at me. Like he faked through a fist. And I was so hammered that I didn't react. And all I did was laugh at him after he did it. <laughs> so like in the same motion of doing that, like he paused he said, after it. I laughed at him. And then he just like grabbed me with both hands. Like he was, I don't know what the fuck he was doing. He was losing his mind. Jesus And Christ. I was like, holy shit, is he serious? I wasn't even looking at him. I was looking at Wood. I yeah. was talking to my friend. I was like, is he, is he serious right now? And he was behind you actively trying to He was trying to, trying to fight me. And I was like, holy shit, he's serious. Did he actually like, crack you? No, not at all. So he, it was a punch I thrown? literally don't think he could. Was a punch thrown? Yeah, but he wasn't He wasn't close. Nothing hit me. So he just chucked an air punch. He was just, he was latched onto me. It was almost like hockey punches. Like he was holding onto my mm-hmm. shirt. So he was like going nuts. Damn. Matters. I went to an acting class one time. Really? Dude, I was like, I could, I was like, my whole, my whole thing was like, if I got in a commercial and made money off that, that'd be awesome. And I went to acting school because it was like a lot of the schools are tied to casting agencies. Yeah. So you go to take the, you pay the money, take the class and they see you and blah, blah, blah. And, uh, dude, literally it was just like, 
people sitting like like we were sitting like a table and a chair and being like you're there the things called the miser technique so i'd be like i'd have to say something about you and then you'd repeat it back with a oh, different yeah, inflection yeah, so i'd be yeah. like your shirt is gray and you'd be like my shirt is gray and i'm like your shirt's gray and like my shirt is gray and you just go back oh and forth god. i sat in the back and i was like fuck i can't do it dude. oh my god i can't do it that sucks no way my shirt is gray and then like people were like i just my shirt's gray yeah, you literally oh. dude we, could, we should miser this whole no. we should start misering and then you switch it up, get all like impromptu. All right, and be you want like, a Meisner one? Yeah. All right. Um, it's Meisner. You want a Meisner? Yeah. Meisner one? All right. The Holocaust didn't happen. The Holocaust didn't happen? The Holocaust didn't happen, dude. The Holocaust didn't happen. The Holocaust didn't happen. The Holocaust didn't happen. The <laughs> Holocaust That's Meisner technique. did not happen. That's Meisner technique. That's a technique. good Meisner. <laughs> <laughs> I just read a book on it, too. Really? On the Holocaust? Yeah, it did. apparently it did. Which book? Uh, Modern Man's Search for a Soul or something. Hmm. Frankel. Read it? Yeah, I read it through fucking airwaves. Through oh, airwaves. Dude, it came it. through and I just deciphered it. You listened to this. Dude, it's fucking... That shit is... Yeah, we shouldn't... I, after all the fucking Hitler jokes in the first half of this, we probably well, shouldn't... That's a clever take on the miser technique. We should probably get out of this. That's a clever, <laughs> <Holocaust> <laughs> that's a clever take on the miser technique. Um, 